so we're interested in learning outcomes of courses that are part face-to-face -face and part online because there's been a lot of speculation about courses that mix these two environments and whether they actually improve learning. Redesigning these courses to include both face-to-face -face and online components can be a lot of work, so people want to know going into it that their work is going to be worth it. And so when we compare these courses to courses that are purely face-to-face -face or online, often we get inconsistent results. Some studies say that they improve learning and some studies say that they don't. And so we thought that this inconsistency stemmed from people defining these terms in different ways. So what I would call a blended learning class is, could be completely different from what you would call a blended learning class. So to fix this problem, we created a taxonomy to classify these courses. And we identified two dimensions that are important in this space. The first dimension is how instruction is delivered to students. So whether it's directly from an instructor or through technology. And the second dimension is what type of instruction is delivered to students. So whether the instructor is just telling the student content or whether they're giving them feedback as that student sort of applies the content like for problem solving. And then we use these two dimensions to define exactly what a hybrid blended and flipped course means. If we go back and analyze studies using these new definitions, we find that how instruction is delivered, whether it's from an instructor or from technology, typically didn't affect learning outcomes. However, when you look at what type of instruction is delivered to the student, that's where you see the differences. When instructors are helping students apply the content, that's when you see the learning outcomes.